You are listening to Author Shenanigans, two authors separated by a common language. All right. Okay. So we are on our path of trying to say uh, words or phrases that Southern people understand that Yankees probably wouldn't. And since one of us is not a Yankee and the other one is Southern, you get to be the one who chooses to find out whether or not you understand these Southern sayings. Of the oh. 15 that we've done so far, I think oh. you have Two. I just realized that this is a swap around from what we did with the English ones. <laughs> oh my God. Uh-oh. Penny mm. drops. Okay. That's all right. I'm going to have to re- thing, re- reword that thing about one of the smartest people I know. Well, it's smart in certain ways, right? Yeah. It's just... <laughs> but, you know, you're adorably smart. <laughs> Don't be the operative syllable in that. <laughs> yeah, really. No, I did not go. Adorably smart. Okay. I did not. <laughs> I'm overheating because I'm I'm embarrassed. Oh. I'm just gonna sit in front of the fan for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> so tilt switch doesn't bother you, but that does. Okay. Yeah, maybe it's just accumulation. I don't know. No, it's it's it's, it's fine. <laughs> yes, but that was the whole reason that I had chosen this, that we were going to do the Southern words and see whether or not you knew them. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever seen you so embarrassed. <laughs> yes, you have. So we're not okay. going to go there. Okay. All right. So you ready? You ready for number 16? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dressing. <laughs> Dressing. Yes. So this has nothing to do with actual getting dressed. This has got to do with food. Oh, so it's salad cream and shit like that. No. Okay, so have you ever heard turkey and dressing? No. No, really? No, I've heard of turkey. I know what a turkey is. Okay, that's right. It is an American thing. I forgot. Thanksgiving, of course, the the pilgrims came over. We have turkey. We eat turkey. We we ate turkey for Christmas one time when I was with my mom. 34 years, one time. Unfortunately, we have to eat what? that shit lots of times. Oh, no, no, no. Hang on. They do turkey all the time. And we had... Mm. Yeah, okay. No, we, we, we had turkey. We had turkey a lot. Go on. Anyway. Sorry. I believe, Brain but... fog. Brain fog. Shush. No, I know what turkey is. But, but, but just bear, can we just caveat this? With, like, you're talking to a vegetarian. Like, so as a kid, I was on and off being a veggie. Like, I'd get sick. They'd make me eat meat. And then I'd stop eating it again, and then they'd realize, <laughs> and they'd leave me alone for a while, and then, you know, so. Okay. Yes, we can do that. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Dressing right. here in the South is whenever we're going to typically Thanksgiving, Christmas occasionally, although hams occur. Um, turkey and dressing. For me, the dressing is actually the stuffing that goes, you know, inside the turkey. They pull it out, and it's delicious and made up uh, of yeah. bread crumbs. Uh-huh. Okay, so it's just stuffing. I know what stuffing is because yeah. it's vegetarian. With all well, those it can be. Meat juices slathered all over. <laughs> well, my mom used to make it in a dish separate, which yeah, used to make yeah. two different because my dad's allergic to onion. So <laughs> 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 which I can tell you some story, but I'm not going to because um, it'd be incriminating. You have the Fifth Amendment here, don't you? Anyway, so um, she'd have like sage and onion stuffing, which you couldn't put in the in the turkey because obviously the onion and it would get in the thing um and then she'd have like this other homemade one that she'd make which is like bread and um peppers and all this kind of thing so both of them were vegetarian and not stuffed in the actual thing although i have i have seen people do that yeah i mean in the south they can stick some really rare things inside of a turkey so you mean in like sheep's brains and oh god no the hell are you talking about <laughs> don't you do weird <laughs> shit like that no <laughs> no I, I think in the south it's kind of like scotland but hot <laughs> <laughs> okay evidently not so <laughs> what do you mean by like strange things <laughs> well, just the, um, generally whenever you get a turkey you buy it and of course all the different parts that come with the turkey that you don't really want to eat. They like stick to the and all. Yeah. Oh. 
whatever those are. I actually don't know what gibblers are, but I can kind of guess that it's like some innards. Like, don't tell me. Don't tell oh, me. Oh, okay. No, yeah. no, don't, 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 don't tell me. What part? <laughs> no, hang on. What part? Don't tell me. You're not ready. Eyeballs are floating. What? Eyeballs are floating. The next, Why? the next phrase. Do you understand the term eyeballs? My oh, eyeballs I see. are floating. Is this to do with needing to pee? Yes. <laughs> Yes. So, 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 what, what just, so you used the phrase the other day that like your eyeballs are turning yellow? Yes. <laughs> Is that a southern phrase or did you make that up? I don't know that it's southern. I'm sure I heard it somewhere. But yeah, I mean, it makes total sense. I hope it's yellow. <laughs> Come on, man. Okay, this one, this one would be more than just the south. Okay, carry on. No, because I don't know. Okay, ignore me and carry on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fixin' to. I have no idea. She's fixing to go get something. She's fixing to go, she, no, you don't, no, no clue. To go get laid. I was thinking it all. I was thinking some mascara really? from the store. I was thinking some toothpaste from the store. She's fixing to go. You know, she's about to. She's about to. So you. you oh. Use... Yeah. No. You, you, you could believe the sentence just fine. It just wasn't where I was trying to explain. No, no, no. Fixing is like jo I thought it was jonesing. Oh. That's what. Okay. Right? Once again, the author is separated by common. Well, that's what I, that, that was what I inferred from the context, but obviously that was just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and it was way nowhere near as explicit <laughs> as I, my brain automatically went. I don't so. think the South has a bunch of explicit stuff. I mean, I'll bet really? you any of the Southern, if any Southern people who are watching this, all three of you, actually have some, that would be really fun for y'all to, to send us. So. What, the explicit ones? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is You'll just be pink the entire time. Well, the probably. entire. Yeah, probably, but still, okay. you know, I'm, I'm really not all about the, you know, G-rated stuff. It's not like I enjoy the, the explicit stuff, but I just, I don't care to not talk like an adult. So, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Fly off the handle. Um... Sorry, I just find all of that just what you just said amusing, given that Joey tells you off for swearing. <laughs> I gotta tell him, y'all, he's not allowed to say the F word. <laughs> what? The F word? You're not allowed what? to say fuck in front of Joey. <laughs> yes, I am. Because he tells you off. <laughs> I yeah. thought he was getting, he's getting that close to telling me off once. <laughs> Yeah, I got a disapproving tone off him. <laughs> I don't know what Joseph's problem is because he doesn't keep his mouth civil now that he's out of the house. Oh. Up, you know, so the last couple of days, you, it's like, what the hell's wrong with your tongue there, boy? I don't think that that's the same tongue that's been here 18 years before you hit out the, you know. Uh-huh. I can believe that. But mm -hmm. also, like, if you grew, if he grew up, being told not to swear and you weren't swearing, like when you were in corporate, then what? I've never had a not swearing mode. That's not the impression he gave. He was like, you used to tell us blah, blah, blah. Well, I still would tell him. I would uh, basically- So, oh, him. oh, hang on. So this is like the classic double standards where you're allowed to swear like a sailor and the kids aren't. No, what I would tell him is that you're at home, you're going to have to learn not to be doing these things because you have to be able to keep your mouth in control. That is a requirement. Now, we never busted them for going and swearing at school, which they did. And 90 something percent of all children probably do. Uh -huh. You know, so it wasn't like we busted them, but it's like you just need to be able to tell yourself that in certain situations, you don't do it. Uh, that's kind of cool. So... But at the, at the moment, my professional brand, if you will, <laughs> is to be who I am. Can I just share when I got my first draft back from you? Do you, do you remember? 
Can mm -hmm. I say this? Okay, so this was the like initial 15,000 words or something and we talked it out and I'd gone and written something. And like on the first page, it's like a string of fucks. And then you sent it back and you added extra fucks. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, be still my beating heart. I think this is gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> and yet in my author notes, our, our author uh, shenanigan notes that we talk about, you're giving me shit. I mean, you, what? so, so what happened? <laughs> I, mean, I thought we told this story back in like the first one that, you know, what this became or, or came out of was the fact that in our author notes, and I do these author notes as both myself and then when collaborators, they do one, I do one. And oftentimes I'd be the last one writing. So what would go on is I'd read their notes first and then I would rip off of it because now I've done, you know, 60 or 70 of these. And so every once in a while I'm like, what the fuck am I going to say? So when, uh, by the time that I got around to collaborating with Ellie, um, I'm reading her notes. And so I'm doing some stuff and then I'm t adding in some colorful commentary, mm -hmm. which is to say that I'm making some bullshit up. So um, she asked- No change there yeah. then. <laughs> huh? No change there then. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. not really. I blame my dad for that completely. His concept is there's no good truth that couldn't be enhanced with a good story. So, um, so she asked for, to, to read them. <laughs> she edits my author notes and adds some stuff. So I go back and edit her author notes and ask, <laughs> I'm like, you know, two can play this game, especially since I'm the publisher, I get to release the book. I always get it last, except <laughs> kind of now Stephen Campbell's the one releasing the book. So shit, I got to get. Oh, home. right. Yes, so. We're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> We're both yeah. screwed. We, we <laughs> Steven's in control. <laughs> yeah, really, we should hope that Steven never decides to start editing this shit. Or <laughs> <laughs> Zen Master Walking would have final time to say. Um, he just, he likes reading them and he, he chuckles. So. <laughs> um, and I did, uh, anyway, so my mind just wandered. I apologize. Today, uh, Florida is getting ravaged by the hurricane. Um, and Stephen Campbell and Jay and Cheney and uh, Jonathan Hutchins are all there that we know. Uh, I've heard from Steve. He's okay. 95% of his county is toast. They're black. Um, no electricity whatsoever. And the uh, JN was apparently hungry, but you know, his house was okay, but his city mostly destroyed. He's, he said his town. Um, haven't heard from Jonathan Hutchins yet, but you know, so I hope, hope they're doing well. So we didn't want to make light of it, but anyway, have heard from Steven. So he, in fact, in the future can harass us. Definitely. So. Hmm. So hang on, what was your point about swearing? Uh, I just find it funny. I mean, this is, I know, a complete tangent. No, no big surprise there, but oh, uh, what I was going to was in one of the author notes in the back of the book, I gave a little story and it included you cussing and you edit the thing and you say something to the tune of, you know, I don't want you to get them um, to believe that I'm a fucking cursor all the time. And I'm like, you just a fuck in your edit. I think the exact words are something closer to, I don't want them thinking that I swear all the fucking time. That was it. Yes. <laughs> I don't want them thinking I swear all the fucking time. Well, one out of 11. So that's, yeah. you know, 8%, 9% of the time is a cuss word. Uh-huh. So, oh, you saw the, the, the thing that I put in our shenanigans channel. Yes. The, um, what was it? Well, was I'm going to jump over and look at the next one. But, uh, okay. So do we, do we do fly off the handle? Oh, fly off the handle is getting angry. Yes. Right. Okay. So easy. those who say that cussing is due to a limited vocabulary, you're an audacious, ideological, unsound, presumptuous motherfucker. <laughs> I like I that. <laughs> <laughs> We've had yeah. to set up a separate channel for squirrels because yeah. otherwise our work was getting lost in all of this banter. <laughs> You've been listening to Author Shenanigans. Two authors separated by common language. I'm Ellie Clark, author of, I couldn't even say my name then. <laughs> Here we go That's again. right. Go ahead. Did you, did you spell it right? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> You've been listening to Author Shenanigans. Two authors separated by a common language. 
I'm Ellie Clark, author of The Ascension Myth. And I'm Michael Anderley, creator of The Cure Theory and Gambit. And you can check out other episodes on lawnfairies.com. <laughs> Bye for now. Ciao. Arrivederci. Arrivederci.